I don't think of myself as making a portrait of the object, but I certainly want to be true to the object in some underlying sense, to find the thing about it that is most wonderful to me and that I really like. The show is Sails Away. It's at the Washington Printmakers Gallery in Georgetown. I'm Kate Lohman, and I make prints. I mean, if I had to define who I am, I would say I make prints. I build them from bits and pieces of my photographs, but my actual purpose is to make an ink print on paper. Well, I'm calling it Sails Away uh, because it's built from images of small radio-operated sailboats. They're about I don't know, three and a half feet high. And when I initially started working with those images, I was intrigued by the boats themselves. I found them by accident in a storage shed. And as I continued to work with the photographs, I discovered that what I really liked was uh, the images primarily of the sails themselves. Many of them are made out of material that has like this grid pattern in it, which you really only see if you're looking at it very closely. And so sometimes what you see through those sails are these other wonderful colors and soft shapes that then have these hard grid lines in front of them. Or at the edge of a sail, then the camera, when I'm focusing on the sail, so I'm mean, like, I'm trying to get this grid really sharp, right? And, but then the objects that are behind it become soft and lovely and luscious. And, and so then when you start taking different photographs or the same photograph, different parts of it, and putting them together, you can end up with this combination of some things that are, have great clarity and pattern and other parts that are soft colors. Some of the most interesting sails, people, their owners have decorated them. So for example, there's kind of a central piece. It's one of the bigger pieces called Regatta Number no. 6, The Sea. And it's maybe less abstract than most of them because at least to my eyes, it looks like a series of really flat sailboats with or at least their sails with waves around it. And way on one side, there's a red boat that's completely marked, like with heavy red marker, that I'd, I didn't add that. You know, the person who owned it put that on there. So is it a mechanical toy? Yes. But it's kind of become a handmade thing uh, by virtue of its owner's actions. When I make something, I mean, if I, if I accomplish making something that I'm really happy with, I want it to be strong enough so that when you look at it from across the room, you get some sense of what it is. You know, something that says, I want to, I want to get closer to that and see it. And then <clears throat> when you're kind of mid-range, then now, okay, now you can see the totality of it. But if I've made something that's really good, then when you get closer and closer, you should see more. There should be detail, um, in this case, in the paper itself, but in the image that you're looking at that makes it worth your trouble for having gotten that close to look. I hope that's what someone will do.